Welcome back. A couple days ago, we played on uh, the Team Will versus Team Josh sub battle challenge, which is a rapid 5 5. Uh, I think it was a 12 match battle between Will's team, uh, Grandmaster Will Anderson, and expert Josh Sokol. So let's review this game. I had a chance to review the VOD or observe the VOD where they commented on the game as it was going on live, I think in round 11 of this event. Um, but let's, I know this is a Blitz game. A lot of playing mostly Blitz these days, but um, it's probably still worth commenting, seeing what I find versus what they found. Uh, so yeah, I was playing on uh, Will's team, and if I had won and uh, my next teammate, uh, CL Smith, had won, uh, we would have won the match outright. So um, there was some pressure on me to try to win this, but if we were to look at the players' ratings out of the gate, um, even though neither of us had a rapid rating, my opponent outrated me by like 200 in blitz, so... I wasn't terribly surprised uh, by the outcome. Um, yeah, I thought Wayne was a good... I like to open the board. I did spend some time looking for, is there some way to close the board and play off some of these tiles for lots of points? And then I realized, you know, I could play the W over here. And this opens the board. And since my word knowledge is not perfect, um, having an open board really suits me well. Um, so, yeah, I thought Wayne was reasonable, um, <laughs> a Twain apparently is better than Wayne, a Twain, uh, of course, in Twain, or asunder, sure, uh, there's Twa, what is Twa, oh, two, all right, why? Or water. Vuitton? Alright, yeah, something like this is what I was trying to find. Quite unsuccessfully. Um, a member of the Anglo-Saxon Council. Uh, the Witten, you know. Alright, whatever. That's an uncommon play word, anyway. Juan over here scores better, or is better equity than Wayne. That makes sense. Although it sticks an N in the double-double column, so I don't like it. Um, when over here, I like that better. Uh, want. Um, yeah, the vowel consonant ratio is not that great. So Wayne is in here like the... Well, Wayne over here. This is not so smart sticking an I in this column and N in that column, but... Um, at least the word Wayne comes up somewhere in the list. Twain, yeah. Anyway, if I really want a high variance play, yeah, something like this that's super risky might make sense, but I think my play was just fine. Adroiter. Um, yeah, I couldn't see that. <laughs> Could not foresee that at all. Um, probably, though, like given. I mean, it's Blitz. You want to play whatever you got. I'm curious what was missed, if anything. Uh, okay, so there's no double-double. Um, yeah, that's perhaps a... Against me, this is probably the strongest play. Um, something that just clogs the board and makes it tremendous. Well, this opens a double-double there, but... Broider is probably a sensible move to close the board. Um, yeah, I saw, like, after a droider was played here, it could have been played there instead. I don't know if it accepts an S. It's, yeah, it's an adjective, so I didn't think it would. So, I mean, in Blitz, you just play what you see, but, um, yeah, I was curious. What if anything was missed? Almost have finalist, but we don't. Loftsman was pointed out, uh... Or rather, in the Woogles Discord, after the game, um, Benji had shared the board, and eventually somebody had put
put in a spoiler text this is the word i'm like yeah i never would have found that but that's really cool phantoms oh that's interesting there's a phantom studio um so yeah i could have maybe guessed this uh liftman yeah i know about the word lift so a lift operator would be a liftman but in blitz you play what you see i'm thankful that well that's interesting left hmm that's a better equity play than what i did because this burns more consonants i didn't even think about that flam now why is flam like i thought my play did i not play fem here fem i did why does the analyzer not like my play it's kind of hard to figure out strange oh farm is decent farm is i mean i'm not happy about the leave which is why i didn't do this but what's the score difference between 27 for tripling well we're tripling the f that's another 12 points and tripling the a so I gave up 14 points of equity just to keep the A. And the A only lends itself to short words anyway. Yeah, farm is definitely superior to fem. Um, but yeah, all these other words are awesome too, like phantoms. It's kind of hard to see. I set, uh, The way I sort my rack is by pronounceable like hard pronounced high scoring tiles first um so yeah phantoms like the f and the m are over here the s is over here but even finding phantom would require like n t m um but the advantage of putting like high scoring tiles first is that they tend to appear at the beginning of words so it's kind of amazing to me that this is not the default, but this is just how... Yeah, oh, slant is a lot better than NLST, but not 13 points better. Yeah. Yeah, you're exactly right. The equity there is just not worth it. Uh, but the way everybody studies words, they don't study them this way. Um, they study it in alphabetical order. So that's why um, they arrange it that way. I have I sort them this way because I don't have that degree of word study yet. And also because word study tools, I believe, allow for custom tile ordering these days. So um, when I do proceed, when I find time to take a break from coding and start focusing on word study, um, I'll see whether or not I can do this same thing. Because like having the highest scoring tiles there really helps me remember um the stem the e can sometimes be worth around 10 let's add to all consonants leave but in extreme circumstances interesting yeah like there are some like nth some groups of letters that fit very well with the letter e um it's where like you stick the e and some group of letters together and they makes a single syllable that those sorts of things or ers or things like that where the e could be helpful but yeah um but yeah in this case just farm beats fem um it's not worth a 13 points uh sacrifice to just keep the a the a is not going to be worth that much and there are other lanes available like there's an a here an o there an i here not that this bot even considers that but just on average there will be places to stick the letters even if i draw all consonants or if i draw all consonants maybe i just exchange depending if it's really terrible but fem is not great um so here I was looking for something like alarms. 
but like this section of the board is very hard to play in. Um, so I can't, like I have only an A. So if I had played farm, I would have maybe drawn either a vowel or another consonant. If I draw another consonant, I can exchange, um, probably keeping the S, probably keeping the N, but, um, yeah, there's probably still a lot of words here, but this is probably the right place. I played mints, which, as was noted during the stream, that opens up the section with the S here. The bottom row is still open. My opponent is fighting, well, other than playing the bingo here, like Va here scores some points, but the intent is either to trade off these two letters which they could have just played through Vow. They didn't have to play Va. They're trying to block this column, and they're blocking the row and blocking the row, but this isn't really blocked, depending on what the letter is. So they're trying to close the board already. Uh, arm. Oh, M, M is a word in Collins. <laughs> yeah, an interjection expressing agreement or enjoyment. Also, M, M, M is a word. Oh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> Alright, then we have matrons, which is what I should have been trying to find instead of mints, but... Yeah, and then arms... mitral? Like a mitre? Uh, oh, I'm s pertaining to a valve of the heart, this mitral. Uh, mar? Yeah, mar is good. Um, yeah, like you say, this is worth a lot of points. F-A. Eventually the spot did get taken. I was kind of surprised it stayed open for so long. But I was trying to fish for a bingo. I think what I did is perfectly justified, even if the analyzer hates it. Uh, well, this is better. Um, uh, mine are. This way I can keep the S. But, um... Yeah, I haven't studied fives yet, so that's kind of hard to find. Manned. This would block the spot that was pointed out for my opponent based on their unusual letter distribution. In fact, let me go back a turn. So yeah, they played VW, but I don't think that's reasonable. Yeah, so I mean, this scores a lot. This scores a lot, but might be risky. Um, the scores. I was expecting... I didn't know what my opponent's tiles were, because they just played a bingo, but um, I was expecting some kind of either play right here or some play hitting any of the double word score tiles. Something opening the board is what I really expected, because on average that's the best play. So it surprised me to see this closing the board. So I wanted to open the board. Oh, MM is also good in NWL. There are a few people that study words of vowels first. Oh, that actually makes sense too. Yeah, I should study. I mean, I've looked at Will's videos for better know a letter. Uh, I've watched them. They're quite good, but I need to actually like remember these words and one way to remember them is just to play a lot or observe a lot of games and try to commit them from watching games but otherwise uh, there's more efficient means of study than losing games so i was happy to find brink i was too happy to find brink and i'm down to three minutes 19 seconds so i'm already starting to panic on the clock and I know that commentators are going to start talking about the clock, so that gives me doubly as much reason to play something very quickly here so that they can talk about the game instead of talking about the clock. Um, but I was happy to find Brink and Yak. Um, here, still, like, anything down through the R here is probably best. Um... So, that aside, um, I wonder if there was a word like grow over here. 
Uh, what else could I consider? Um, maybe something here if I'm like super lucky, but I'm not going to find that in time pressure. Um, yeah, this V closes off a lot of space, makes it easier to analyze what's still open. Assuming I have word knowledge, which is a bit of an assumption. Um, yeah, let's see what the analyzer suggests. Gyral? Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, something down here. Phi expressing disapproval. Yeah, so gyral would have been awesome. Gyro, glary, gory. Huh. Wait. So what does this refer to? Gory or bloody. You can put an A in it. In the Milton Dictionary. Kyar. Is this like based on the Japanese Q? Kyar? No, a fiber obtained from coconut husks. Also, Kwar. Okay. Yeah, if I studied the Y words, that would help me in cases where I get a Y and don't know what to do. Uh, there aren't so many of those. Although, maybe I should focus more on, like, higher probability vowel words. Kato. Oh no. <laughs> A small New Zealand tree. I'd like to see pictures, but I can't really put them on stream. Rory. Errol. An aromatic univalent hydrocarbon radical. All right, any aromatic, so something scented, univalent, something with one valence electron, a hydrocarbon radical. So it's some hydrocarbon that's got like a, yeah, okay, I might not remember that so well. Examples would help. Um, glow, yeah, so glow and grow would have been would have very heavily defeated whatever it was that I did here. What did I play again? Yak. Oh, that's right. I was excited to get rid of the Y and the K. But the spread here, like the equity, this only scored 72. Oh, this scored a lot. How much do these other things score? Like glow. This scores 29. All right, so yeah, 29 is definitely more than 25. Okay, so I found a, a pretty high-scoring play, but there are many much more high-scoring plays available. 43, 48, 48, etc. So my play doesn't mate the top 10 or so, but um, it was playable. It's just there were, I missed out on about 10 points. And my play, opponent played IF. Again, this stunned me. I really, really, really expected them to be opening the board at this point. Like, or building upward off of the Y in either direction. But they just had like two eyes here. And the reason they have two eyes is because their last few plays. Like, they've been trying to shut down lanes, and they've been successful at that, but it's prevented them from getting useful tiles because they keep playing off their best tiles. Or in this case, VAW, they didn't really have a lot of good tiles, but they could have tried to play more letters and score more points or something. But they've been playing low-scoring plays to try to close down the board and playing off the BIN okay, yeah, it closes the board, but I open it back up. Both fighting this kind of silly war. Um, so, like, what? Is there even anything that could be done? Viking? Bin? Linen? Lin? Thini? Yeah, some of these things, even though the analyzer recommends them, aren't that bright. Like here, this opens up the F to the double word score and keeps both of these double lanes open. 
So maybe not the smartest move to do Feeny, but exchanging F-I-L-N. Yeah, that makes more sense than just playing I-N here. Um, yeah, so, I mean, obviously the highest scoring play is much, best, much better than the remainder. But even something building up modestly like this is decent and stops me from going across to the tri uh, uh, triple word score. But they played if... Oh, I'm sorry, they played if, not in. Playing if leaves them with C-I-L-N-N, -N, which means they can't bingo, but bingo's not going to happen on this board anyway. So maybe if is okay. But it's risky because there's three triple word scores available to me. And if I'm smart, I'll take one of them instead of continuing to ignore them. All right. And so here I played Gru. Grow is maybe better. Bogler. Roger. Glow. Oh, okay. Yeah, tree is a nice leave to keep. Yeah. Ledger. Goer. Yeah. So the R is a nice, nice letter to hold on to. What I played was okay, but other things keeping... Um, yeah, Glow would have been nice because it burns the O. Um, yeah, ERT is a very nice leave. In terms of... Um, if I want the board to open, I'm going to want to take one of these two columns on the right next to the Y. So if I want to take one of these two columns, or if I want to build a cross, I'm going to want to leave this bottom area open for both myself and my opponent so that I can build up over here. Um, so if I leave this bottom area open, that means my best play is actually uh, 8A. Uh, just anything across here. So, yeah, this would have been nice. Uh, and with the hopes of somehow scoring up from the Y or opening something somewhere and expecting that they'll take the triple down here and I could either take this triple or build up to a double. Um, so, yeah, this burned an ER, which is not so smart. My opponent has a terrible rack, and they kind of deserved it, but they managed to play queuing because I gave them the G in the first column. So they burned ING, which surprised me. Um, and here I started to think, okay, my opponent like clearly is playing a lot of low-scoring plays. Um, Either they're getting extremely bad draws, or perhaps they're not caring about what their leave is. Um, yes, yeah, so a jar here I think was the best play. Is it? Oh, Jolter was recommended in chat. Yeah. Oh, the J lands on top of the double word score, or double letter score. Yeah, that's extraordinary. But otherwise, a jar is very good. Yeah, I'll take a jar. That's a nice one. All right. Um. So yeah. Uh, my opponent, despite having played four letters, still has U V, so they're not going to bingo. But Vals. Um. Yeah, they did manage to play one of the U and the V. Was Vals best? A vols, but nobody's gonna. F <laughs> Beginners might have a difficulty finding a vols to tear away forcibly. Yeah, vols is quite good. Um, even though you're left with a U afterward. So, yeah, I. This surprised me that they had so many nice letters, but um, you know they can't always draw bad letters. Yeah, I've played polite quickly again to try to get the commentators to stop talking about the clock or whatever. I just assumed they were talking about the clock, because in chess, that's all commentators ever talk about. 
Um, that's a slight exaggeration, but petiole. Yeah, this is mentioned in the chat um, of the, at least it was mentioned in Team Will's chat, so obviously I wasn't reading that. Um, but yeah, that would have been a nice find. Yipe! Okay, yeah, the, I was trying to find something like this. An interjection, so it's like yipes, but doesn't require the S. Yelp. Okay, I know that word. Should have played it. There's really no excuse for not playing that. Um, reptile. Okay, there's an excuse that that's kind of hard to find. Loip. Well, that's a fun word. A track for cross-country skiing. Loipen. Yeah, polite over here scores better. Uh, it seems risky. I mean, maybe I need risk at this No, I don't. I really don't need risk at this point. Pilot, polite over here. Yes, these all have the same... Wait. Oh, this scores one fewer point than the other polite. Um, that's funny. Um, but yeah, this is clearly the safer play. Uh, despite the fact that I think in the game it backfired immediately. Well, no, that was playable, and I hear I missed XU, or was it XI? I saw XU, but I was like, TU's not a word. I missed XI, TI. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. This doesn't really backfire at all. I got lucky here, I got that X. So if I'd spotted that I could play XI, that would have been a free 24 points. 25. Um, I just played picks. Uh, what other things are playable here? Exode. <laughs> I tried to find something like this. Uh... Like, I saw I had Exodus in my rack, and I could not find a place that made sense to put it. Oxide. Valst and Oxide. That is awesome. That is a fantastic play. Um, yeah, wow. Ex I mean, each of these, other than... Well, no, Oxide involves the blank. Exode involves... Yeah, both exodes involve a blank. Exapods. If I find this, they just accuse me of cheating, honestly. There's no way I'm finding exapods, but exapods is pretty great. Uh, X. Yeah, this was referred to... Um, I forget if it was Josh or Will who first pointed this out, but yeah, Will correctly noted that not all beginners know these three letter words cold so wex would have been good uh, someday I'll have to absolutely know that word um, oh yes I saw yex I didn't see the parallel play here oh rather after I played I saw yex um, and I was wondering and I could have checked this like if I'd spent longer on the play I could have tried Yex and tried, I don't know, what kind of parallel play, like Ox here. Um, yeah, that would have been nice. Oxo? Oh, wow. That's cool. Okay, yeah, I could have... What is this? To steer a racing rowboat. Also Coxswain. Yeah, I could have found that. Codex. In a slower game. Codex I could have found. Uh, yeah, ultimately I did find picks. And that was fine. It's interesting that... Wait. Is that right? That XI does not appear in the top <laughs> evaluation. Top equity plays because the blank is just so strong. Although I wonder, like... Pixie? Like, if Pixie is a word, I don't think it is. I'm setting myself up with a hook. Um, and I'm more likely to hit that than they are, because they just played the Y. In fact, the other Y is right there, so 
Yeah. The other blank is already played, so I'm the only player that could have a Y. Uh, Quaz. Quite reasonable play. Here, I just got stumped. Like, I saw I had goodies. And I, I was looking around the entire board, trying to find anywhere to stick goodies. I did not see uh, right here. Did not see the Obaya's spot. I thought this Y was one square over. Like, complete board vision nightmare here. But yeah, I did not think this was an open spot. Um, yeah, so the Y's gone, so I have a blank. I could take the blank and make it into a Y and take however many points I want there. Yeah, so goodies would have been great. Nudges? Nudges. All right. To nag. Also nudge. N-U-D-Z-H. That's a good one to know. Goods. Godso. Gods. Goost. Keeping the blank. Important. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I panicked. Honestly, I played QI with the blank. Which... I expected my opponent probably had an eye, so blocking the corner to prevent them from scoring a free 30 points, maybe not a bad idea. Um, despite what this suggests, but yeah, goodies would have been, or niches, sets me up to, I don't know, score more points on a future turn. So, if I could score like 60 points every turn, I don't need to worry about a 30 being open in the corner. I just couldn't find it. So, oh, I played do in the corner, because, uh, yeah, at this point they played call, and now I start thinking, okay, they probably have an I. But also I couldn't find a bingo with G-E-E-O-S blank. Plus I missed the Opia's spot. Um, jelly... Okay, that makes sense. I'm not finding Sago. It's jelly, a cosmetic gel. Sago. Uh, a, lili a liliaceous plant of Western North America. And it's edible bowl. Sago. Ego. OG. Oh, so if I find the fish Ono, then I could find OG. Uh, arch of two curves meeting at a point. Uh, Evo. There's a lot of ways to play the vowels. If I know these words cold and I can spot them on the board. Really, I should play... I don't know if there is such a tool for this, but if there's a training tool that says like two vowels, a consonant, and a blank, like not blank bingos, but just blank threes, blank fours sort of thing with multiple vowels. That's the sort of thing that maybe could help me spot this situation that I just struggle with. OG is... Uh, Rego. Um, a motor vehicle registration. And then, yeah, the current... The hurricane thing. But yeah, all those have good leaves. Instead, I burned my blank in the corner to prevent my opponent from maybe using one of the two remaining eyes to just take a free 30 points. And I was kind of sick of my opponent just blocking lane after lane after lane and wanted to see them open something for a change. So uh, I thought they might do that. Instead, they played Yod here for... How many points is this? It's not bad. It's 21 points. Is it the best play? I mean, Yet scores 21. Riot scores 21. Duct scores 14. Okay, Yod is in the top 10 plays. But now they're still stuck with this U. They can, like, never bingo. Unless they have a bingo involving CU something. Um, 
On the other hand, there's like nowhere left on the board to bingo other than like through the NO or on the Obia's hook that was pointed out that again, for whatever reason, I just completely missed it. Um so they played Yod. And can I go to the next play? Here we have all the same plays as the last turn. Unless something's changed. Tree is playable there. Uh, surge. A large wax candle burned before the altar. Also siege. Alright. So I guess that's Serge. Uh, Grecia. A flight of steps. Also Grease. Grease. Wow. Grease. And, oh, there's the computer game. G-R-I-S. Grease. Um, which also has all these alternate spellings for Grease. So if I can remember any one of these words, I can remember all the rest of them. That's interesting. Goal? The Avenger of Blood among the Hebrews, the next of kin whose job it was to hunt down a murderer is the goal. Alright. Greece. Alright. Yes, yeah, step. Re. Evo Rego. Rescuing! Oh, for style points, that is the move. Well, you don't have to remember all the spellings in um, white challenge mode. Just type them down and see how it goes. Yeah, well, no, like, unless you know that Obia's, I mean, you can't be certain of it, but we're here, we're playing void challenge mode. Which allows you to try a lot of things. I feel bad about abusing that and just slamming a lot of attempts down. I think there should be a penalty in void mode. I think you should still get the minus five penalty, but you should get your turn back or something. I think it'd be better that way. But uh, just because I feel bad just randomly throwing down a set of tiles after a set of tiles. Just trying things which might be plays. It's not a good feeling. Um, so if there's some consequence to that, maybe I'd feel less bad about it. Um, anyway, we played real, which scores basically nothing, but gets the commentators to stop talking about time. Although they did talk about it anyway. And it, really, that's the only thing that could be said, because I played such an atrocious play, you can't really talk about the play. <laughs> Because, like, I missed all of those other things. There's just nothing to really talk about about this play other than how I just missed everything else. Um, Pix doesn't have any extension, right? Pix has an ES uh, extension. But I already played the blank as an I up here, so Pixie is no longer available. Uh, Dotages was noted in the chat. Um, I missed that. Um, Dogates, Dotages. What is Dogates? The Office of a Doge. Um, uh, Chief Magistrate of Venice. A Doge ship, or Doge it. Alright. I've seen this word before. Um, so yeah, there were two places to play it. I missed both of them, and it was my only chance to take... It was my best chance to take the game. And it was a well-deserved opportunity, because my opponent had been holding on to the U all game. Um, I mean, yeah, they did play a U, they drew another one. They've not been balancing their rack, so... I deserved this opportunity. Um, just because the way we ended up playing our tiles. Uh, I managed to successfully balance the rack well enough to have this shot. I just missed it. Um, yeah. 
So you've talked to one of the creators a couple times. Yeah. Yeah, the creators of Lee Chess. Um, yeah, they're very kind, thoughtful people. Uh, this is perhaps why I've contributed so much code uh, to one of the libraries that Lee Chess uses. Um, again, it's all in a volunteer capacity, and they're very, very welcome to use it as they advance the cause of free chess for everyone. Um, yeah, so they put together a great site, and they have a wonderful team. Um, yeah, the development folks are really awesome. And the moderators put in a ton of work, so um, kudos to them as well. So yeah, I just panicked. I played Gate. Oh, what were all the other plays I missed, other than the bingos? I missed God over here. Yeet. Yeet is kind of nice. Um, to go. Oh, wow. So, I've seen Yod before, but I didn't realize that to go had so many other forms. Yod, Yeed, Yeeding, Yeeds, Yeed with Y-E-D-E, Y-E-E-D. -E -E but yeah, you've seen Yod before. Just didn't see this one. Um, Gad. So, Fly? No, to roam about restlessly. All right. Gade. A miner's wedge. Deg. What? Oh. To water. To dej. Or to deg. Uh. Do. A dove or pigeon. All right. Wow. Well. Oh, Sig and Gade. A short personalized message at the end of an email, a signature. <laughs> and Gade, again, to go. Wow. So, yeah. There's a lot of words that mean to go, apparently. Um, so I played Gate here. Kind of hoping that I could fetch the A and make that into Agate and get some bingo up there. Um, so I was living for the variance of there were 10 tiles in the bag. I had no idea what my opponent had. Um, so yeah, I played gate here, just fishing for the A. Did not get the A, but my opponent didn't have it either. Yeah, so... At this point, there's not a lot that can be done. Uh, I have no idea. I'm not great at endgames. Um, outdo. That's hard to find. Donut. Ode. An African stringed instrument. I'll have to take a look at that. Dune. Down. Also down. Alright. Outdo. Udo. Udo. Species of Aurelia. It's a kind of flower. Interesting. Um, douche. A kind of monkey remarkable for its veiled and varied and brilliant colors. Native to Koshin, China. Doshu. Or docu, a documentary file. <laughs> Yeah, if we get a lot of fun words, presumably from the Aussies. Um, Dover Pigeon, out to Ungod. What is to Ungod? To deprive of divinity. That is fun. It's to Ungod. Tondo. Where is Tondo? Oh, here's Tondo. Um... A circular painting or relief carving. Huh. Alright. Well, we missed all of those plays and instead played something dumb. Oh, we played Gout. That was okay. 
Again, I'm fishing trying to get the A, although it doesn't make any sense here for me to fish. But I've also lost track of how many tiles each of us had. And yeah, they played Zhou, and this is over. Um, oh wait, I still have seven tiles left, so if I have four Danes is the play here with 41 seconds. Uh, yeah, yeah, Thibaut has put a lot of effort into uh, Lee Chess. A lot of a lot of effort. And yeah, we had to basically uh, beg him, uh, I don't know, let us compensate you for your extraordinary efforts. Um, yeah. So we missed Ordains, we missed several other bingos. Sad, uh, wait, Sad Iron. What is Sad Iron? A heavy flat iron with both ends pointed and a removable handle. Inroads, Donairs, um, Sliced Lamb, Rolled In, Pita Bread. Inroads, Ordains, Sad Iron over here, and then basically everything else loses. Although, all these bingos, like this, this equity of 79, well it says the score is 79. There's nothing left in the bag. Uh, but by this point, the difference here is exactly 79. So if I played Sad Iron, if I played Inroads, that's the game. We know. Two tiles in bag. That's not the game. All right, the equity estimator, for whatever reason, just assigns this a value of 79 and does not sim two in the bag. All right, hope you hope, hope somebody ends up answering. Uh, do 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 do. do. Uh, sorry, I'm super distracted, apparently. Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Oh, goodness. Um, yeah. Two backend devs are two of the nicest people. Scrabble. Also, like the website, but you're kind of biased. Spoke of them, they seem really cool. Sassar. Oh, Woogles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm super distracted, but yeah. If I've missed something, I guess I'll review the bot afterward and see just how badly I missed it. Um, but yeah, if I'd spotted this, there's still two tiles in the bag, but 79 points here. Well, if there's a difference of 79, there's I'm probably still losing this with two in the bag. Even if I manage to equalize the score at this point. Um, so yeah, and then there's just nothing to do here. But in theory, if it mattered, there was Dory's. Rescuing is still available. Uh... Nighters. Yeah, so something like that would have maybe saved my dignity a little bit. Uh, in Blitz, because my opponent's time management was not great, um, in Blitz the right thing to do would have been to like try to lock up this part of the board right next to the game. Especially because I should know that their remaining tiles are NORST. Now this is five second increment, like my opponent should not flag in theory, but yeah, I was actually feeling a little guilty that my opponent's time, like they played such a good game and then they spent 30 seconds on this final play, or on this previous play here, and I would feel bad abusing the clock to win this. Um, 
But yeah, the way to try to win this at this point is not by score, but just by trying to close up the board, make it difficult for them to find a play, which I just did not have the wherewithal to do. Uh, so I played this, and they went out. How many outplays do they have at this point? They've got an outplay here. They got one. Yeah, okay, so I can't... No, okay. Um... <laughs> Ironically, the only way to block both outplays is to use all my tiles. That's pretty funny. But otherwise, they've got to play something quickly and then play another play. Uh, oh, what I was thinking about Woogles in terms of a website. Um, hmm. Interesting. So I'm not a web dev... <laughs> um, I do back-end development. I don't, like, do a lot of front-end development, so what do I think of it as a website? It's kind of an interesting question, because, um, how am I supposed to evaluate that? Um, so, I really like the user experience quite a lot. Um, uh, having been with the Lee Chess team quite a bit, um, I do like that Lee Chess is offering more and more APIs as users suggest use cases that, which would merit creation of an API. Lee Chess is increasingly producing APIs that interact with a lot of awesome programs to achieve great things. I like that Lee Chess considers accessibility quite important, and I believe Woogles will follow suit. Um, yeah, I like the user experience. It's very responsive. Um, I like how easy it is to analyze my games and see the definitions. Um, there's the one issue I've brought up today over and over again about the page scrolling in my 720p browser. But um, yeah, overall, it's quite enjoyable. Um, as a developer, um, kind of ruining the fact that I don't have a Mac. So it's kind of, I mean, the developers are awesome. They're working with me to try to help me get set up. But through my own incompetence, <laughs> I'm having difficulty getting this installed and running. But that's on me. That's not having anything to do with the developers. They're doing everything they can and then some to try to help me become competent. Um, so yeah, I think it's a great site. It's very responsive. Um, yeah, it's a good site. Um, I think in the future, it'll become better for all players. Right now, the player base, there's a lot of very strong players, and that makes for terrific content on Twitch and YouTube. Um, but it's quite intimidating to play games on the server. Um, I kind of wish that there was a mode with a smaller board than 15 by 15. Something where, I don't know, it was somehow easier to manage finding plays. I do like HastyBot. HastyBot is fantastic because it does not play defense. It's like the one opponent that I don't feel stressed out playing against even though it kicks my butt every time. Um, I think it it's a fantastic creation, honestly. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, overall, yeah, it's a great site. Um, I also like that there is the English common word list. Uh, without that, I'd be somewhat more cynical about the site. But it is possible for anybody to download the site and download the English common word list and with some degree of elbow grease rig things together. Even if they don't have any of the licensed dictionaries, they could still take the public domain dictionary and host their own site. So it still is free software. Anybody can run this. You don't need the official dictionary. So I think that counts strongly in the project's favor. Otherwise, I'd be a bit more cynical about it. Say, like, 
Um, yeah, if you'd need an official dictionary to run this, that would be a different matter. I'd not be... I mean, it's still quite an a awesome creation in the same way that 81 Dojo is pretty great. But the fact that it is actually free software, anybody can download this um, and at least get the uh, ECWL. Um, I think that uh, will help the project live on for quite a long time. But again, like I'm, I'm not a web developer. I'm not sure how to evaluate this so well. Um, I'm becoming more proficient at web development. Like I'm starting to produce uh, Twitch and Discord bots and host them. So I'm starting to get better with API consumption. Um, maybe someday I'll get better at producing a front end that consumes an API. Oh yes, yeah, this is a good game. Um, yeah, if I could, I don't know if I'm even in a position to offer criticism, but it, it's, this is an excellent play, a droiter, absolutely the best, well, one of the best plays. Uh, I was surprised to see Va here, um, and throughout the remaining plays of the game, I was surprised to see Bryn, because here you're burning the IN. And so because of, like, I could see what letters you're playing, here's the IF, here's an IN, Here's a pair of consonants, so you're like playing a few letters at a time, apparently closing some lanes. And I'm bearing in mind that, well, if you're playing this combination, this combination, this combination, especially the IN, either you're getting some absolutely terrible draws and not able to play longer words, or you're just not interested in producing a bingo. Um, that's at least how I felt about it during the game. Uh, but yeah, Blitz, anything can happen. It was quite exciting. But yeah, looking at the game afterward, you got stuck with this U for quite a few turns. You never... It's difficult to build the rack. I mean, or to balance the rack. You did manage to play the U, and you got stuck with another U right away. It's not really your fault, but... Um, yeah, it's just some of these plays have caused me to infer that I could play a bit more aggressively. Um, yes, I missed rescuing at some point during the game. Vals was pretty creative. It was interesting to see what the analyzer recommended, too. Like, this is stuff neither of us is going to find in Blitz. Um, but, yeah. Um, value is kind of cool, because then you have this S left over. But then you don't quite score as many points this turn. And it's kind of hard to bingo at this point with the board so clogged up like this. But anyway, just some brief thoughts about the game. Yeah, it's definitely an exciting game. And I wish that I'd seen this Obia's lane. If I'd seen that, like, this uh, could have supported a bingo, I had an S. Uh, I should have taken that several times over. I should have at least tried it, because we were in void mode, but I thought this YE was shifted over a column. I didn't see that this was even open. Um, so I've got more words to study so I can figure out how to play in corners like this. Um, and so I could find parallel plays a bit better, although parallel plays are actually quite hard to find. Yeah, uh, COLL likewise surprised me here. I mean, it scores a lot of points, but... If you're playing OLL, I'm inferring that the rest of your rack is like LLLLLOO or something. Like, I'm inferring that uh, either that's the case or you're just not trying to balance the rack. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was funny. I mean, <laughs> I think he's right. <laughs> like, even if I don't know this word at all, uh, and you, there's no expectation I would, we're playing in void mode. Like, if it's a verb, it takes an S. If it's a noun, it takes an S. This sort of thing. So, like, if it's an adjective, probably doesn't take an S. So, I should be trying to hit this lane, even if it's not valid. I just didn't see that it was open.
But yeah, um, in like double challenge or triple challenge, you would not try this. I'm sorry, in five point challenge, you'd not try this. In void, it's not obvious at all, but um, it still needs to be tried because all the other lanes on the board are closed. It's just I have like no board vision, <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah. What was Obia again? A form of West Indian witchcraft. How cool. So there's Obi and OB with an E. So Obia. Wait. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. So Obia is not a plural form of Obi. Um, so it, yeah, it is a noun that does actually accept an S because it's an alternate way of spelling Obi. All right, that's a good vowel dump word to know, although you're not going to have the B very frequently with the vowel dump, but yeah. That's obism. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it's an exciting game. Uh, it went, given our respective blitz ratings for this Collins category, um, I expected this to be a um, not as close as it was. Uh, so I was satisfied with this. I was a bit bummed afterward to find that I missed so many things. And during the game is a bit stressful because I had like six constants for several turns. But, um, that's just failing on my part to find opportunities. Also failing to realize that blocking the triple is just not nearly as valuable as taking it. Um, that, like, I did this FEM to try to draw the correct letters for bingo. But simply taking the triple lane and then being willing to exchange on a future turn is reasonable in the case where I get bad tiles. And in the case where I get good tiles, I don't have to exchange. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, thanks for putting the event together. It was a fun uh, thing, and congrats on the victory there.